Well, yeah, it's, yeah I think it's, it's physical presence. When right. you walk in the room, do people look? Right. Now, now I'm, I'm wearing a, a $10,000 suit and a $100,000 watch. Right. But a lot of people don't notice that right away. You know, Most could, people don't have the like, taste to notice it. Exactly. So yeah. I, could, I could walk into you know, any, any, town in the, any bar in any town in the world dressed in modest clothing. Sweatpants. Yeah. Because we do it all the time. Me yeah. and you are together, what? We've almost been together for another month this yeah. time. Dressed Dude. In- Sweats, <laughs> yeah. sweats. Right. You know, and we walk in and people look. People right. look. Physical presence is a real thing. It right. really is, and you right. can work on that. And it's not just you know being tall. Being tall, it's you not know, only being how tall. you carry yourself, how you're sitting, how you're how you're walking, how you right. introduce yourself, how you shake people's hands, how you order your drink at the bar. Yep, how, every, yeah. Being kind to people is a crazy good sign because if because if you're if you're secure uh, secure enough with yourself to be kind to waiters and staff yes. and bartenders, I, I truly believe it tells people things. Oh, even when, especially when they fuck up. Let me tell you a good story about being kind to, to waiters and bartenders, especially in the in the city that you live in. It's an investment. Yep. It's an Absolutely. investment to throw money around. I I do it here in Dubai because I spend a lot of time here. I certainly do it in Bucharest. I was on a date with a Romanian celebrity. I'm not going to name drop her here, but famous girl, a few million followers on Instagram, etc. And the lights had gone out in the garden of one of the fanciest restaurants in town. So obviously being one of the fanciest restaurants in town, they put a bunch of candles on every table. So I was sitting there as the waiter was pouring our champagne. I said to the girl, I said, you know what? I, I specially organized this. I call my friends at the electricity company. I had them shut down the power grid just yeah. so we could have candles tonight. And she goes, ha ha, all right, Tristan. Yeah, where's my flowers? As a, as a, as a blase comment, because she knew I was joking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She knew I was bullshitting. The waiter, good friend of mine, had been pouring the champagne, overheard this. I, not, I no joke. Two minutes later, he comes over with the biggest bouquet of flowers. He must have taken from behind the, you know, from behind the restaurant. Goes, Mr. Tate, here are the here are the flowers you ordered. And I sat there, straight face, ice cold, sip my champagne. I, 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 ten minutes later, I was like, you have to excuse me. I get up. I was just like, my man. I was like, no way. Did you just do that? So, and why? Why? Because I'm rude to waiters because I didn't get to know his name. Right. I've been eating at that restaurant for two years before that. I throw money around. I tip well. He knew exactly who I was. So, you know, being kind to people pays dividends. Not only is it, uh, do women notice it? Because they really do. Yeah. But, um, you know, the, 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 the staff notice it and they treat right. you better. And being treated with respect around women is a huge turn on for women. Mr. Tate, how are you? Mr. Oh, let me just clear this parking spot. Sorry, we have, we have no tables. Let me just put one out for you. Right. That's a huge turn on for women. And, you know, you get that respect by being kind.